Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Passive sensors are stealth killer. They do not emit any radiation and keep tracking the target. The target being tracked has no idea what's coming towards it. The sensor we are talking about is IRST, Infrared Search and Track Sensor. Indian Rafale fighter jets features a similar sensor but a very advanced one. It is called FSO that is Front Sector Optronics developed by Thales. The sensor is completely integrated into the airframe of Rafale and all we could see is two electro-optical sensors peeking out of the frontal radome from the front of cockpit. The Thales FSO is combination of IRST and Combat Identification System. The IRST sensor has a very long range and primarily looks for IR or heat signature to detect its target. The combat identification system provides long range visual identification, 3D tracking, localization of air ground targets and guide air to air missile as well as the gun firing. Now operating in optronics wavelength, FSO is immune to radar jamming and it provides covert long range detection and identification high resolution angular tracking and laser range finding for air, sea and ground targets. The internal FSO provides a tele lens picture of target ground or airborne with a range measured by incorporated laser detection system. The covert approach capability of the FSO is especially valuable in air policing and intercepts. Now DRDO's lab IID has also been working on the next generation infrared search and tracking system for LC Mark II, which is also called FSO, that is Front Sector Optronics. The IID's FSO is very sleek and compact in size compared to its competitors, which talks about the advanced technology incorporated in it. It has two main components, sensor head unit and processing unit. It can perform high frame rate IR processing, long range detection, point target tracking and detection, multiple target tracking and target kinematic ranging. The FSO will provide coverage of plus minus 18 azimuth and plus minus 40 in elevation. The sensor uses short and medium wave infrared waves for tracking target. It can track a target not using afterburner from a range of 50 km facing targets front hemisphere and from 100 km facing target from rear hemisphere. It will have a laser range finder with range in axis of 10 km. The integration of FSO IRST is going to provide LC Mark II capability to hunt down the adversary's fighter aircraft in silent mode or passive mode, which is much needed edge in the modern aerial combat scenario in within visual range or even in beyond visual range combat situation. And it is also effective against the stealth fighter jets. Now, if we have to compare DIDO and Thales FSO, there is a clear difference. Thales FSO has two sensors, IRST and Combat Identification System, whereas DIDO's FSO is going to have only an IRST. Now, can DIDO develop FSO like Thales? The answer is yes. DIDO has all the tech to develop it. However, this could occupy a lot of space in fighter jets' frontal section, which would again require further certification and testing. So as of now, we don't see any plan for the same, but if we get any update on it, we will inform you. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.